So after shooting a video, do you find yourself wasting a ton of time cutting out all the dead air or silence in your video? That could be a huge time waster. Well, on today's video, I'm gonna show you a way to do it with the click of a button. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up? My name is Aaron Bowman. Thanks for coming by and checking out today's video. Now, like I said, we're gonna be talking about how to get rid of all that dead air without having to make all those cuts in our videos with a click of a button. And this video has been sponsored by the great people over at Wondershare Filmora, and we're gonna be using Filmora 10 to make this happen. Let's go jump on the computer, and I'll show you how to do this. It's a huge time saver when it comes to editing your videos. Let's go take a look. All right, hey, what's up everyone? We are now on the computer. We've got Filmora 10 up and running. And as always, if you are watching one of my videos for the first time or you're new to Filmora and you wanna give it a try, there is a link in the description. You click on that and it'll bring you right over to Filmora 10 and you can download it for either Mac or PC. Now I'm gonna show you real quick how to import videos or photos just in case this is your first time here. So you can click on the import right here and you can select where you wanna go. You can click on this movie clacker and it'll bring up a window and then you can search for your uh, video or photos or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this up right here and drag and drop now what I want to talk about today is right here where it says beta so when you download your copy of Filmora 10 you will see this here now this is going to be a trial for this right now you get a seven day trial I'm not sure what the paid portion is going to be what if it's a monthly subscription or yearly I haven't looked into it that far yet because I'm still just on the um, seven day plan but because this works so good, I will more than likely be buying a subscription to this because this is going to be a huge time saver for you when you're editing your videos, especially if I could say that, especially if you're going to be producing a lot of video content. We know that, yes, it does take time to shoot stuff, but it takes even more time to edit everything. So your story, whatever story you're telling makes sense and flows smoothly. So for this clip here, this is a review I did on a pair of slippers that somebody sent me. So I'm not gonna go through the whole editing process. What I am gonna show you is how time-saving this can be when using this little feature here. Because normally you would take your, your video clip and you would drag it down to your first timeline here. And you can have multiple timelines. Uh, for video, you can have multiple layers. So like I can bring this one here. So you, know, you could do this all day long with Filmora 10, which is nice, but I don't need these, so we're just gonna get rid of these right now. And then a uh, little pro tip as always, if you wanna get rid of these extra tracks here, all you have to do is go bring your, your cursor over your mouse over to the left-hand side, right click, and then hit delete empty tracks. Now, normally if you're looking at this, let's spread this out a little bit, you would see, okay, so there's a silent piece here, so I would have to cut that there, and then I'd have to you know, cut here and then cut here. And when you're doing this for an actual um, ripple delete, and then you'd have to do a ripple delete. When you're actually doing this for your own video, you're gonna you're gonna zoom this in a lot so you can make sure you get right in there. So, you know, here's a spot where it's quiet. So I might have taken a breath or I might be doing something else and I wanna go through. And this is normally how I would do this process and then ripple delete. And uh, here's another pro tip for you. Before you start even doing any of this stuff, color grade all your footage, because then you don't have to go back and color grade each individual section. So just keep that in mind, a little pro tip for you there. And keep going through. So we're gonna start here, because this is a whole bunch of big mess ups. And we're gonna just get rid of this here and here. So again, if I was going to be doing this, I'd come through here. Now there's this whole thing of silence, which I'd have to cut this out. And then there's some more silence here. So you could see that this could be very tedious. And I'm sure if you're watching this, you've done some video editing. So you know how tedious this can be. And that's one thing I like about Filmora 10 and the people over at Wondershare. The fact that they think of these innovative things and they put these into their product. Now, I primarily use Filmora 10 and Filmora Pro. When I first started, I was using Hit Film Express a little bit. I've never used Final Cut Pro or any of those other programs out there, so I don't know if these features actually exist there, but I am glad that they exist here on Filmora 10 because anybody can click that link in the description, download 
their copy of Filmora 10 fired up on their computer or their Mac, whatever you were editing on, and be able to edit a video like a pro within the matter of minutes without having a huge learning curve. And I think that's what's huge about this software and why it's so great. Now, what you wanna to do to, to activate this little button right here for the science detection is highlight your clip by left clicking on it. And then you'll see you get all your other options here. But we're gonna click on this here. And again, it still is in beta. And like it says, it automatically removes silence from audio region of your video, which is great. So we're gonna click on that. It's gonna analyze the clip. Now look at the different cuts it's made in here. And these were some of the ones that I just showed you that I would have had to done. Now you can look at them and stuff and you can soften the buffer or you can you know, change the duration or volume threshold. But for me, since I've been using this um, so far, I've just kept the default and it's worked perfect for me. So you can either export it to your hard drive or you can export it to the timeline because we're still working in the timeline. That's where I want it to go. So I'm just gonna hit export it's gonna do its thing and there you go. It has all those cuts that I would have had to have gone through and make. And that's it, That you know, again, yeah, you're gonna walk through, you're gonna listen through this and make sure they make sense and your edits are done right. But to get rid of all that silence in there and then have to go through and, and touch it up is fantastic. It makes it so much quicker than me having to go through and do cut after cut after cut. So it, by far is one of the best features so far that they've added to Filmora 10 that I absolutely love just because of the fact that, you know, if you're editing two or three videos, maybe you batch process your videos and you sit down and you record a bunch of them like I do because it's going to be for, you know, informational purposes, you know, for my real estate channel or a tutorial like this, you don't want to spend another three or four hours going through and cutting out everything and making it look good because, you know, it's time consuming. This makes it so much more simpler. So hopefully that has helped and uh, it it's going to, you know, lessen your time sitting in front of your computer editing so you can go out and shoot more videos. So as always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, check out this video in the top right if you want to know more about editing with Filmora. Peace.